the guys you lost in the secondary last year. How do you guys step up and fill that void and, and, and get back to where you were last year? Uh, we just really try to keep doing the same things that we're doing in the past. Like Coach Neal, he'll just like he'll just put the information that we need to know. Like work hard. You know, you have to have the will. You need to. You need to. Uh, you just need to really just work hard every day and everything will fall into place. And just listen to what he says and just go by the team rules. Just just do everything that uh, the coaches want us to do and everything will go fine. How was the first day of spring ball for you guys? Uh, it was it was kind of rough getting back into it. Like my legs were pretty sore. I had to get back into like the practice tempo and all that. But other than that, it was good. Like everyone's starting to learn. Like we we have Charles. He he came from offense to defense and he's learning quick. And uh, our new our new corner Hugo, he's learning pretty quick too. Uh, true freshman. He enrolled early. So it's like we're just trying to get everybody uh, on the same page. So everyone knows. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's it like having Charles now playing defense for you guys? It's, it's big because he's, he's an explosive player and he, he has uh, real good cover skills. He can, he's just an athlete, so you can put him anywhere. You can put him at safety, corner, nickel uh, defender. He'll just make some plays. It, it sounded like he started making that transition a little bit last year, kind mm -hmm. of towards the middle of the season. Is it, did he pick it up quickly? Where, where, where's he at with that? Is he coming in as, like, it seems like it's his first year playing that right now? Or? Yeah, he's, he's picking up real quick. He's looking like almost like a veteran. And, uh... I'm sorry. Uh, oh yeah, but yeah, Charles is picking real quick, and uh, we seen last year he, he was making big hits on special teams and all that. So we knew he could tackle and uh, make plays on defense. So it just fitted perfect. Being one of the guys that you know filled in for for Evo in the postseason, do you feel like you have any sense of leadership moving into spring ball in the season? Yeah, um, I have a, a big role in leadership because you know we graduated. A lot of our seniors. We lost four DBs last year, so um, we're just looking for new guys to step up. And it's not like really just like specific players to step up. It's just everyone leading by example. You don't need to be that that vocal leader. You don't need to like tell people what to do. You just need to you know do the right thing, and people will follow. Sorry, come up. Did you go into the offseason with more confidence based on the postseason? Yeah. And the, the, the playing time you got. Yeah, I did uh, most definitely. Um, just playing in the, uh, in the Rose Bowl and in the championship just let me know, like, yeah, I can play with all these guys. So it's just giving me confidence to, you know, just come in and give my best shot knowing I can compete with everybody. You mentioned this old child. It does look like they're going to push. Oh, yeah, for sure. It, I, I oh, yeah. assume it doesn't feel like anything's settled right now. Oh, yeah, there's no settling. There's yeah. no for sure spots yet. So we're just all working like, to get to the top and uh, have the best players on the field.